what's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. So today, we actually have a problem. Our 2015 Dodge Durango actually just do a check engine light and it is a P0128 code, which usually means it's gonna be a stuck open thermostat most likely. So we're gonna be tackling that job today. We're gonna be putting in a new thermostat, clearing the code, and hopefully that'll resolve the problem. All right, so right there you can see we have the check engine light up at the top right corner. And after using my Cornwell code reader here, you can see we have the P0128 code, which is normally a stuck open thermostat, which normally means that the coolant system is not reaching the proper coolant temperature it's reading lower temperature than it should be and again it's usually just due to a stuck open thermostat or slight or slightly leaking thermostat maybe it's not sealing up all the way and it's still letting coolant flow through the thermostat when it should be closed to be able to reach the full operating temperature so let's take a look at the new thermostat we're going to install real quick this is our 2015 durango right here and this is a thermostat we are going to use today. As most of you guys know, I'm a huge Mopar fan. I would almost definitely recommend just getting the Mopar thermostat from the dealer or an online retailer. However, we're kind of in a hurry. I need to get this thing going for the wife tomorrow. And we just stopped at our local O'Reilly's Auto Parts store. They had one in stock. And this is the thermostat part number that they had. Relatively cheap part. I believe it was under 20 bucks and Basically, this is the entire Thermostat housing with the thermostat is already installed and that is pretty much how these thermostats come on these newer cars It is all one unit now So that's what we're gonna be putting in Looks like it's a pretty easy job. So we're gonna crack the hood here and uh, get to work all right, and again, for those that don't know, this is the 3.6 V6 model Durango that we have here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to pop off this cover real quick, which just pretty much lifts up. Like so. And discard that. And then the thermostat is actually, you can see the hose going to it right here. It is underneath this air intake ducting right here. So we're actually going to be removing this real quick. We're going to undo it from the throttle body. Undo the connect the wiring connector right here. Undoing this breather. And then we'll be removing this entire thing. That way we can get this out of our way and get to the thermostat. Should be a pretty quick fix. So here we go. All right, so real quick. We undid this clip right here and then slid off. It looks like this is the, I believe, the purge solenoid system here that just slides onto this little tab. We just slid that back, push that to the side, and undo this little clip here and this connector. Unplug that, and then we're going to get, I believe that's going to be an 8 millimeter or 5 sixteenths which will loosen that tube. And then we're gonna pop this cover off right here. I believe that's it, just two little locking tabs. And then once we get that loose, it should come up. All right, and then you gotta undo this little breather tube right here, you unplug that off. Just kind of move it over to the side. All right, and then this center section, you kind of got to get up underneath it pretty good and lift up on it. And it just has like a little rubber bushing peg and it'll pop loose. But after you get all that done, the whole thing comes off like that. And then here's our thermostat. This is the old one. So you have a hose connection here. And it looks like there is... I believe these are just two bolts that holds on the thermostat housing here. And they look like they're 10 millimeters. So we're going to get a pair of pliers. 
undo this hose and then get us a 10 millimeter and loosen up this uh, thermostat housing and pull it off swap on a new one and then pretty much put it back together and top off the fluids all right so usually what i do is i grab a pair of channel locks and get on this clamp that everybody always hates you squeeze that down like that bam, bam, bam. There you go, work it to the back of the hose there. And then, we're going to pull this hose off. And we're going to lose probably a good bit of fluid. Well, not too bad. I believe if we take this hose, and if we're careful, we might can tuck it behind this AC line, right there between the filter box and maybe not lose any more fluid. All right, so now we're gonna get a, I believe this is gonna be a 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna get that tool real quick and we'll get this thermostat off and we're probably gonna lose a little bit more coolant as well. All right, so we have a 10 millimeter socket here. There's one screw and there's one on the bottom. There we go, we got two out. And like I said, we're going to lose a little bit of fluid. Now necessarily, not really sure if we're going to see anything wrong visually with this thermostat. But it's either leaking or it's not closing all the way, allowing the coolant to continually flow through and not get up to the temperature range in the amount of time that the uh, computer is wanting everything to work in. So... That's why it's throwing the P0128 code, basically saying the temperature is not getting up to the desired temperature. Also, make sure the gasket comes off as mine was stuck to the engine here. So make sure you get the old gasket off. The new one will already have a gasket inside this housing. So make sure you take the old one off so you're not trying to put the new part on top of the old gasket or you're going to get a leak. And that is our new one that I showed you guys, which that we got from O'Reilly's. Again, already has a gasket installed, thermostat's already in there. And this is a stock replacement, stock temperature range, bolt on dilly. So we're gonna put it on. Tighten this up a little bit. Get our hose back on real quick. There we go. Slide our clamp back on. All right, we got everything. We got the hose hooked back up. So what we're going to do real quick is top off our fluid real quick right here. All right, we're going to put our air box assembly back on.
plug everything back up. Plug our breather back on to the air box here. And then get our tool real quick. Just make sure when you're putting this air ducting back on, make sure it's slid all the way up on the throttle body, all the way seated. Nice and tight. All right, so we have the P0128 code. We just put in a new thermostat. We're gonna clear the code real quick. All right, our code is cleared. So we should be able to start the vehicle and our check engine light up here in the top right corner should be off. And it is. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. P0128 code, thermostat, very easy to change out on the 3.6 engines. As you've seen, that took a whole like 15 minutes tops from start to finish. Um, so we got everything done, we got everything buttoned up. We're going to let it sit here and run and add some coolant as we need to. But that's pretty much it for that code. Simple thing to fix. So I hope that video helped you guys out. Don't forget, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, and as always, stay safe. We'll see you on the next one.